The B-52 is on slow speed. Mark Scott, you're reporting today. How you doing? How you doing? B-52, trying not to get these these copyright strikes, man. Trying to figure out all this copyright shit, man. Because, you know, what happened yesterday, if you were watching, right? Uh, yesterday, I did a video about Camilla Harris, right? And it got blocked, right? Check this shit out, man. You're not going to believe this shit, right? So I put up a video, breaking Camilla Harris drops out of the 2020 race, right? I do the report. Listen. Wall Street event, Camilla Harris has officially wow. dropped out of the presidential race so for that a while, is- a front runner in the Democratic presidential uh, contest. Right. And then, right. So I'm doing the report. Right. And then I put in uh, joy to the world fucking song. Right. I, I, I throw in joy to the world that Camilla Harris drops out. <laughs> and it turns out that the song itself, I'm not going to play it now because then it'll get blocked again. Joy to the world on YouTube is blocked worldwide. Can you imagine that shit? Joy to the world. Because why? Because it's a religious song? Joy to the world and all. Uh, what the fuck, man? What's going on? What's going on? Christmas is now illegal. Look at his dumb ass right here. Look at this guy. <laughs> so, um, so Mark's Conti reporting. Uh, although he's dead and buried, he is dead and buried, uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, the mystery lingers on. Did Bill Clinton... Rape children. Did he do it? Was he on the Lolita Express 26 times screwing young children? I, how disgusting of an image is that? But is it, is it factually correct? So there is new allegations, new allegations uh, that have just uh, uh, come in uh, about uh, Hillary Clinton, Chelsea Clinton, Bill Clinton go visiting Epstein's Mexico home every year. V- visiting, hanging out, living in the uh, in the in the uh, villa next door, or down a, a mile away on the block, right? So, uh, 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 complimentary uh, compliments of Jeffrey Epstein. So, let's look at uh, let's look at this first. Follow the money, the money trail, the money trail, right? These are people. The Clintons are people that they don't give a shit what you do. <clears throat> you could rape children; they don't fucking care. What do they care? You could blow up nations. You could sell arms. You can provide arms to militias that kill women and children. The Clintons don't care because it's all about the money. They come from the George Soros uh, uh, school of thought that we, we don't care about the consequences of our actions. All we are interested in is making money. Uh, and that is the essence of the Clintons. So, Pedophile Mueller witness charged with steering illegal campaign contributions to Hillary Clinton. A convicted pedophile, and then we'll talk about uh, Epstein's visiting, not Epstein, but the Clintons as a family visiting Jeffrey Epstein in his New Mexico uh, uh, pad. Uh, you got to see this place. So a convicted pedophile who uh, became a key witness in Robert Mueller's Russia investigation has been indicted on charges of illegally funneling campaign funds to Hillary Clinton in 2016. <laughs> what a surprise. <coughs> Politico reporting. Lobbyist George Nader, who was arrested uh, this June JFK airport for sex trafficking a 14-year-old boy, has lobbied on both sides of the aisle for Middle Eastern associates, acting as an informant, informal conduit to the Trump campaign. Whoa, I thought he was just for the Clintons while embarking on a scheme to gain influence in Clinton's inner circle when everyone thought she was a sure winner in the last election. Uh, so, um, campaign fi- uh, uh, DOJ did not reveal which 2016 candidate Nadler fun- uh, funneled the funds to. Political reports, quote, campaign f- uh, finance records make it clear that the candidate was Clinton. Nader was named alongside Amid Kabach, Amid Kabach, Mahid Andy, a Lebanese American businessman who was donated to Clinton, who donated to Clinton, Adam Schiff, Joe Biden, Chris Coons, 
Dianne Feinstein and a host of other Democrats who received up to $3 million in campaign funds. He also gave $1 million to Priority, Priorities USA, the primary super PAC for Clinton, and $1 million to Trump's inauguration fund. See, that's a very revealing last line, right? He, they're all Clinton, Clinton, Clinton. Clinton's going to be the president. When she loses, they immediately give a, a million dollars to Trump. I see how they buy influence. They're, they're not doing it because they want to see Hillary Clinton in the, in, the, in the White House. They do, but they want a favor. It's all about quid pro quo. Here's the fucking million dollars. Give us a favor. Well, don't, don't prosecute us. We gave you a million dollars. Kujaka hakaha. Was appointed to the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom by <laughs> Chuck Schumer, Democrat in New York. So, so what this is all about? I'm not going to keep reading it. It doesn't. It's not that interesting. But what it does say is that the Clintons are cozy with pedophiles. The Clintons don't care. It's like, oh, that's a, Isn't that a uh, rich guy's delicacy? You know, children. How fucking crazy is that, man? You know the guys. You know the guy. I don't. I don't want to play the the guilt by association, but you know these. You know who this guy is, right? You're supposed to be a a, a, a registered sex offender, right? So I don't want to dwell on that one. But it is it is coincidental that we now come to the Epstein part of it, right? So Epstein's dead, buried. He was murdered. He was suicided. It doesn't matter, right? At this point, who cares? Really, he's dead. But did Bill Clinton? Was Bill Clinton raping children on the Lolita Express? Was he doing it? Is, it? is it true? There's no witnesses that have come forward. There's no credible evidence to suggest that Bill Clinton actually did that. Are they all dead? Are they all... Or he's just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But let's read the article. Clinton's uh, vacation, vacation... The Clintons vacationed exclusively at Epstein's New Mexico... Baby making ranch. Uh, the baby maker. Remember, he, he was going to save his DNA and then he was going to spread his DNA and make a whole tribe of Epstein's. A fucking nut job, right? That's what billionaires think about. Right? Michael Jackson wanted to have a, uh, had a zoo in his yard, right? The Clintons regularly stayed at Jeffrey Epstein's weird New Mexico ranch where the deceased pedophile had, gra- had uh, grand plans to seed the human race with his DNA according to his estate manager, uh, somebody with an eye on the ground. Bill Clinton and even Chelsea visited the 10,000-acre estate almost every year after they left the White House, according to the Daily Mail. The former first family didn't stay at the property's main compound. However, they spent their time in a custom cowboy-themed village, uh, village Epstein built a mile south of the main, uh, mountaintop villa. Okay, so no doubt about it. He was, he's, he's clearly, the Clintons are visiting Epstein. Everything is on Epstein. All the, the expenses of everything. The Clintons are staying scot-free in fucking New Mexico home of a pedophile. Right? They're on the complex, right? Hanging out. Every, even while all the shit was going down and, and Epstein is a registered sex offender, a convicted felon sex offender, Right? They're still visiting him like there's no problem, right? And, and it gets worse. It gets worse. So here's the house. Right? It's a cozy little thing, right? I don't know if it's the, the main one, right? But you probably, you stay in there. They got some cars in there. But you got to see the shit. Watch, watch the shit. So, so the Clinton family bunked down in a special cowboy village uh, created by Epstein, which is a mile south of his own luxury mountaintop villa. They used one of the two guest house, which looked like they're straight out of the 19th century. Seen in blah, 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 blah. This is all according to the security expert, Jared uh, Ke- uh, Kellogg, who was brought in by uh, standing uh, ranch manager Bryce Gordon. Uh, it's fucking, there's too many names here. Right? The Clintons maintained that they had minimal contact with Epstein despite records proving he flew on the disgraced finances Lolita Express Boeing 727 no fewer than 27 times, which Epstein sold one week after being arrested on suspicion of sex trafficking. According to Kellogg, ranch manager Bryce Gordon kept bragging about the Clintons staying at the ranch. One of several of Epstein's homes were underage girl, 
homes where underage girls were reportedly trafficked, trafficked from all over the world. One of several of his homes were, un, were underage girls were. <laughs> where? He spelt it wrong. Homes where underage girls were reportedly trafficked. I got this shit wrong, making me look bad. This is cool, right? Check this out. Everybody should have one of these. What is this? This is an eight-person party shower. A party shower, right? Everybody should have a party shower, right? What the fuck? All right, so picture from inside Epstein's main house. Yeah, this is the main house. It's not the house that Hillary and, and Bill stayed at, but they certainly were. If you're staying, I don't believe that shit. I don't believe you, you stay at the, you know, at the house down the block and you have no interaction with the host, not even for a night, right? You don't get the tour around the house. Hey, check this out, right? What do they do? Hide the eight-person shower? What the fuck goes on inside of an eight-person shower? Who are the eight people? There's <laughs> something wrong with that. I mean, look, I, I, I was a fan of Metallica, right? I'm a fan of Metallica, right? And the singer, actually the whole band, has told stories about living like a rock star. And I remember the singer telling the story where he says, you have no idea how, how we were living at the height of the rock and roll bubble, right? where... He, they, would, they would do stadium events, right? And in stadiums, they have like sporting, you know, they're sporting events. They have like a hockey team shower right? in, in, the, in the hockey rink, right? Or the, the basketball team takes a shower, right? They have facilities inside of, you know, these, these uh, sports stadiums, right? And so when Metallica played, the, the singer tells the story of, of having eight naked women groupies scrubbing him down in one of the showers with soap, right? Like he's he's like a fucking king, right? They're, you know they're rubbing his, they're, they're showering him with you know with soap and water and and whoever whoever knows what what else is going on, right? So the point is that it's not a big deal, right? That's it, you know it's nice to be king, but are they children in that shower, right? Epstein is a convicted pedophile. Are they children in the eight guests in this right here? How many children have been victimized in this fucking eight-party shower? Uh, so my contact uh, was Bryce. Their main concern was that there was no video surveillance on the property at all. I thought this was a simple request as they uh, wanted surveillance to protect their investment. It's a huge site, said Catalog. But, there was, uh, but, but what was weird was that the whole time I was on the site, Bryce would be bragging about how the Clintons would visit the whole family. Not just Bill, but Bill, his wife, their kid, and they would stay on the ranch itself. He had built his western replica uh, village with a saloon, barn house, old schoolhouse, and when uh, you're walking through it, it feels like you're walking through the, the 1800s. His biggest concern was monitoring and covering that area. So my main focus was mounting cameras on poles to cover the highways. You're going to tell me that there's no, there's no surveillance, there's no video footage of the Clintons being in this place or uh, a video of Bill Clinton on the Lolita Express or one fucking pilot come forward and say, yeah, Bill Clinton was on the, on the plane. And by the way, I saw him sitting next to a 15-year-old. <clears throat> right? Is it? <clears throat> right? You're telling me that there's no video footage of this? There's no footage of Epstein getting murdered in the jail, suicided, there's, there's, the cops fell asleep? What a fucking sham. What a fucking sham of a country we live in, man. It's just, it's just crazy. All right, so here's Bill Clinton, fucking cocksucker, right? It's not, look, he's not guilty until proven guilty, but he has all the advantages. Oh, look at the pile of evidence. Look at the pile of evidence piled against him. Where is, the, where is the testimony? Where is Bill Clinton being dragged into court, the ex-politician, I don't care if he's ex-president, where is Bill Clinton being dragged into court and, and having to answer for this fucking shit, right? Having this photograph, this photograph on the wall in, in Jeffrey Epstein's house. Right? Where's, the, where's the shit, man? Where is the fucking outrage, man? Where's the outrage? Because I'm outraged. Uh, Oh, look, a large indoor bathing area has an oversized pool, hot tub, and a framed shower. How many teenagers were in it? How many t fucking young children were in this thing? 
with Epstein with his fuck sitting in the hot tub with his dick out and children like like it's uh it's like uh hedonism for kids with kids how many kids were in there we need to find out man uh, he's dead but but it's not forgotten so there you go man what a disgusting story to have to talk about I feel dirty after talking about this shit, right? So it's just, but you got to talk about it, right? So Epstein's dead. Epstein's dead, but the money trail leads back to the Clintons, pedophiles, uh, hanging out in, in Epstein's, you know, second little pad down the block. Definitely, definitely, definitely coming to the main pad. How many times is Bill there by himself? How many times is Bill hanging out with Epstein in New Mexico? Every year since the White House? Uh, fucking come on, man. So that, that add that on to how many times Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton and, and, and the other one were, uh, Chelsea were at his pad in Manhattan. How many times is Bill Clinton down in the fucking village down there and the, on the Lolita Island? It's disgusting. Bill Clinton likes to fly. How many times was he in his uh, villa in France? What is going on here, man? So, um, so they're yeah, just new evidence, man. New evidence, new new nails in the coffin for Jeffrey Epstein, man. This fucking guy. So uh, I'm gonna try not to get some some of these copy strikes anymore, man. It's just getting old. So let's just listen to the let's listen to the B-52s on warp speed. Man. All kidding aside, this is one of my favorite bands out of the 80s. So underrated. You know, you talk about a great guitar player, innovative. The guy played with four strings on the guitar. He removed, if you don't know this, he had the electric Stratocaster, but he removed the, the middle two strings. He only played the the outer two and the lower two, the E and the A and the uh, E and the, I guess the G, I fucking forget. I don't even know. I mean, he, played, he only played four of the strings and it with wild tuning. Very innovative, very innovative guitar player, very underrated. (laughs) 